Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. And today I have two Spike Essential builds to show you. They're really fun. One's gonna be bowling fun and the other one's gonna be the amazing maze. So they're really cool projects. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, this is gonna be the setup for the bowling fun uh, robot here. We got these four tires here to kind of be this counterbalance. We're going to stick the ball under here, and then when the motor lifts, that will cause this arm to lift up, and the ball will go down the ramp and hit over the pins. So it's a really cool setup, and let's watch this in action. I'm here. There we go, there's the strike. Okay, so here is the Spike Essential amazing build. Um, there's no motor involved, so you're just gonna have to use your hands to get this ball to go through the maze and out this side. I added in a color sensor so that when it sees the red of this ball, it's gonna turn on the light matrix and it's gonna play a sound uh, you know, that I put on the program. So I'm gonna show you that program in a second, but let's just go ahead and take a look on how this works. So you get the ball to go here, have it go under the hub and through. We'll turn on those lights. And we get the applause. Okay, so here's the program. I put it on a forever uh, loop. I did a wait until the color sensor sees red. I put on the light matrix for that particular pattern for two seconds, and then I had it play the applause too. So let's go ahead now and see that in action. I'm gonna use one hand here to make this ball go underneath the hub. Wish we had some cable management clips here. The ball's getting stuck on there through here. And the light turns on. And it goes out the exit. All right, guys. So hopefully you are enjoying these videos. For those of you that might be interested or are doing the Spike Essential, it, there's a lot of really cool builds, and the thing that I like about it, especially with my younger grades, is that they're super easy to complete. They're only about 22 to 23 uh, pages steps and in building instructions. I'll leave you guys the link to the instructions um, in the description. But that's what I love, is the kids can get to the coding um, in a 45 minute class, they can get to the coding and not spend the entire time building and then never get to the coding part. Um, some of the builds are so fast, my students are able to modify them to make it more interesting, more fun, more exciting. And so it's just a really neat way to kind of get students or your kids introduced to robotics um, in a fast, easy, and then easy to code way. So I hope you guys enjoy these two builds today. Um, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care. Thank you.